Welcome back everybody to my high pointing adventure where I attempt to climb the highest peaks of 48 states. So far I've knocked out 9 and Mount Mansfield of Vermont will be my 10th. I've endured blisters, rain, endless drives, cold weather, isolation, bug bites, falls, and my personal mortal enemy, sunburn. However, it's all been worth it in the end. I traveled over 6 hours to the cheapest hostel I could find in Vermont and got only a few hours of sleep. I woke up early on Sunday, the day before Memorial Day. This peak would be yet another solo hike, a risky adventure, but one I'm getting used to. Mount Mansfield stands at 4,393 feet, far from the tallest peak I've climbed, but that didn't mean it was easier. So we're finally at Mount Mansfield. I think I'm on the right trail. As you can see here, it's a very big resort. Um, it's more of a skiing mountain than a hiking mountain, I guess. But as you can see, Mount Mansfield, it's like a big face. Right up there is the forehead. There's the nose, and I think that's the chin. And I think I wanna get to the chin because that's the highest peak. It's not terribly far away. The mountain does look scalable to me, but I am worried about the very steep incline. I don't think this is gonna be a too long of a hike, but I guess we'll see. I guess all I can do is get going. North will lead us north, Long Trail South will lead us south. Although ironically in this moment, Long Trail South is south. Is south is north and Long Trail North is south. This doesn't make any sense, but that's the way it is. But it does lead to the chin and it goes down the lips, the nose, the forehead. All right. Wow, beautiful sight already. <sighs> Nothing like a good old boardwalk. I think life would be better with more boardwalks. After a nice stroll down the boardwalk and an encounter with this very odd tree, it was time to start my ascent up the long trail. I had already been met with a sharp incline, but things were only going to get harder from here. All right, now it's time to put on bug spray. <sighs> Ugh, I hate the smell of bug spray. This is all the water I have. I'm wondering if I could refill the Taft Lodge. So we got 1.3 miles to the Taft Lodge. To Mount Mansfield proper, we would have 1.7 miles? Is that all? I guess the long trail is a short trail. Ha, 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 ha. I think I'm gonna go crazy if I'm isolated this long. At least I got my cell phone. As you know, it's important to be connected to the internet at all times, especially when in nature. Okay. All right. Uh, I think the trail's this way. Oh God, more steep gradient, wonderful. Just what I wanted. Why don't I decide to become a mountain climber? After about an hour of hiking, I was tiring out faster than I should. The lack of hikers unsettled me, as it was both a tourist destination and a holiday. It's usually best not to do these kinds of hikes alone. If I were in an emergency, it might be difficult to get help. However, just as I was worrying about my solitude, I finally encountered my first hiker. Hello, sir. Hello. Were you hiking from the top? Yeah. How far is it to? Uh, maybe to a good hour. Does it get more or less steep? More steep. Oh boy. By the end, it's uh, way steeper. See, we are over here. So, meaning you've got 1.7k done. So, and then you need. You see down here, that's how steep it goes. All right, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Good luck. The hiker used this exotic measurement called the kilometre, so I wasn't sure how much further I had to go. I expected at least a mile, but at this incline, I couldn't imagine just how steep it actually was. 
Not long after, I had run into another hiker, who thankfully was fluent in regular measurements. We only had a mile to go, it seemed, so the two of us just hiked together and talked. I decided to leave in our conversation because he seemed like a remarkably chill dude. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah, looks like we got like a mile to the summit. Yeah, I think we're coming up in the cabin that's around here. That's cool, you getting footage of the whole way up? Yeah, for my YouTube channel. Nice. Yeah. yeah, how do you, I was thinking about it, I was like, I don't think I feel like I've ever seen people just do like full hikes and just upload like three hour. I won't upload the whole three hours, I'll just have it for my, I'll probably edit it down to like what, 10 minutes or something. Yeah. Um, fairly uneventful so far. It's been short, but brutal. Yeah, it's a lot, of, a lot of elevation gain in a little bit of time, which is yeah. good, keeps it honest. What's your channel? What have you been doing for hiking? Like, are you a high pointer? Uh, yeah, I'm coming up. I'm trying to get all the 4,000 footers in Vermont this weekend. So I got Killington last night, and I'm starting with this one, and then working my way south. How many 4,000 footers are there in Vermont? Just five. Just five? Because I know in my state, New York, we have like 47 yeah. or something. Yeah, in the Adirondacks. Yeah, I went, because uh, I've gotten the state high points for New York, Maine, New Hampshire. Uh-huh. Um, Rhode Island, Connecticut. So I was like, ah, long weekend. I should just go bag some high points. And then I was like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna be in Vermont. <laughs> They're all on a line. I might as well knock out all the 4,000 footers while I'm at it. What's um the main one like? Cause that one I, I'm really intimidated by. Katahdin is, I mean, it's a lot of elevation gain a little bit. Of, it's like a three mile hike up and it's, you know, you get a lot of, a lot of elevation in mm -hmm. that little bit of time. Um, the harder, the hardest part is like, you have to plan ahead cause Baxter's like, oh, time to wake up. <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> yeah, no, um, uh, Baxter, you have to like reserve like a, a parking spot or like, yeah. a tent site. Um, and it's pretty busy in the summer, so you kind of just gotta like plan ahead. Um, you can be anywhere in the park. Um, so when I did it, we went like to like a, they have like lean tos like all mm -hmm. over the place. And so we went to like a far off one in one of the back corners because we didn't plan ahead. Um, and then you just have to get up early and get to like the parking spots before they're all taken up. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of funny how logistics is the hardest part. When you drive up there, it's out of the way, so. <laughs> Marcy so far has been the toughest one I've done. Yeah, I don't know which way you did. I thought like it was long, but it was like a nice like gradual yeah. eight miles up, um, which the way down was, I, I feel like the, the down is a lot harder than like, like the Definitely. up is like hard because it's like burns, but the down is just like hard in the joints, I feel like, so. Yeah, for me, it was like just 17 miles of anything is hard. <laughs> well, um, that's, that's, that's some distance for sure. <laughs> yeah, I was I, I started at 6 a.m. and I got I didn't get up till um, 11 p.m. That was 17 hours on a mountain. That was probably the most brutal thing I've ever done. That's I was shocked by how easy Mount Washington was. Yeah, Washington, especially like parts of it too. I, when I did it, I went up like the, the Cog Railway side. Drill trail? Uh, I don't remember what trail we went up, but I know it was on the on the Cog Railway side. Yeah, I took I the- it's like starts higher up yeah. you know, than the other side. The, I took the Cog Railway down. I've been meaning to do that, although it sounds like all like the hikers and stuff kind of hate it, hate it because it runs on coal. So they're kind of anti-Cog Railway, so. Yeah. So like, I don't know, I feel like the history of it's kind of cool. So I haven't made up my mind yet whether I gotta be. Mount Washington is, I think, the deadliest high point in the United States. A couple of years ago, or maybe last year or something, like somebody went up and it was like, they got hit with like snow in like June, like a random yeah. freak storm and some dude got caught out in it. And I, I'd say, um, I imagine out of all the ones in New England, I know that Jeremoth Hill in Rhode Island, that's gotta be the That was a joke. <laughs> it was just like, you're on the side of the road. Like I coach, I coach track over in that area uh -huh. um, down in Rhode Island. And so I would like drive by pretty much off the road from it. I'm like, I just gotta stop and go knock that out. And yeah, you literally park on the road. There isn't even like a, like a good plaque or anything. You just kind of like are there and you're like, oh, this is, this is it. <laughs> Right, I, I mean, it's funny because it's on the way to just a, a small mountain in Massachusetts. It's like on the on the state line. That's funny. Which is like you just get like a little uh, cairn, and it's just like there. <laughs> I go, okay, well, I guess I'll finish this hike up this tiny little mountain. In Massachusetts. Yeah, Mount Frissel. That's a nice little walk in the park. Like it's just the right amount of like challenging, but it's not too much of an annoyance it's a pretty like it's cool because it's kind of flat like there's that one side if you cross into new york and then yeah. there's like a little ridge line where you got like a good view um before you like cut back and you have like the tri-state marker yeah like, i went there gray like i cheated and just drove up yeah. um and it, was, it was cloudy <laughs> so i was the only one there and well, that's the kind of the funny thing about peak bagging i feel like is like 
you know, you don't always start from like the bottom, like a lot of like the 4,000 footers in New Hampshire, it's like you just go across the ridge line and you do like the pres presidential traverse and you just like bag a bunch of them that way. So it's not like you're going up and down. So I, yeah. I think it's cool because it gives like a quantifiable kind of like, uh, I guess, goal to it. You have yeah. like a certain like height and a certain number you can go after, but sometimes it's kind of, kind of silly. Have you done any peaks outside of the Northeast? No, no, I haven't really gotten out of New England a whole lot. Yeah, the Appalachia, that's a lot of fun. Um, the peaks down there are actually not too difficult because, you know, your prominence is like very high already. What's the one in Virginia, Mount Rogers? That one's fun because there's wild ponies. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Just hop on one of those and ride them down. Yeah. I still haven't driven into the trucking poles yet. Trucking poles? I have a pair in my car if you need if you want one because I'm I there's spares and I don't need them anymore. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, I just haven't like decided whether <laughs> like because I feel like when I look at them I'm like I feel like I'm gonna be too rough on these and yeah. Bend them like my ski poles. It's all right. Looks like we can get a view of the mountains already. Yeah, I'm glad I did. I kind of just said I was gonna do this like a month ago and I was like oh, I just hope the weather's good. I I should have gotten like my shoes. I'm thinking. Yeah, the work of your hip flexors are going to be. Yeah. At you after this. I don't know why I brought boots. This whole mountain is like very touristy. Yeah, having a ski mountain right next door probably <sighs> helps a lot. Yeah, it's definitely a skier's mountain if you ask me. Um, yeah, like, Kill like Killington was like, I'm guessing yesterday must have been like one of their last ski days. We had like one slope with snow on it still. And when I got there at like 6 o'clock, uh, 6 or 7 o'clock, it was just like land there's so many people there there's ski there's still snow there's like one run that looks like there's snow and people had like skis on their cars and stuff but everyone was just in the parking lot just like partying so like i had people come here and just hang out which looks like a blast or the, the ski bones were getting their last run in i had no idea you guys got snow in may well i think they i think they were probably running the canyons for as long as they said my guess Oh, they, they, they like make their own snow? Yeah. Oh, I see. I think most of the mountains kind of do that now to uh, stay open for longer. I don't know, it didn't look like great today. It looks pretty, pretty crusty. So. <laughs> Mount Washington also has a really nice um, visitor center. Yeah, yeah, I love the whites. The whites are probably my favorite. Or, oh, the White Mountains? Is that what you guys call them? Yeah. <sighs> Mount Washington definitely feels almost like a tourist trap. Well, it sucks that people can drive out and you're waiting in line to get a picture. And I feel like they yeah. need two lines. Like one for the people who drove and one for the people who hiked up. Yeah. So if you hiked up, you get the couple lines. <laughs> it's very easy to tell the difference between the hikers and ones who yeah, drove like, up huh, here. He's covered in dirt and covered in sweat and dead bugs. And yeah. They're not even breathing heavy. Yeah, they have a whole ass parking lot. They have a gift shop. The food there is like, I paid like $6 for a chili dog, which was like bread, hot dog, and cheap beans. And it was not it was worth the price. fresh from the supermarket, like frozen section, you up on the grill and food. You camping out anywhere or do you have like a place? Uh, I took an Airbnb. I was car camping it. My air mattress had a hole in it. <laughs> oh God. I can't exactly sleep in my car, it's a tiny Corolla. I wish we could take the gondolas down. I'm surprised they don't have like mountain bikers or something. Maybe mountain biking in the summer. You can't possibly bike down this. Can you? Probably not this trail, but they'll have uh, some of the ski trails I think will be mountain biking. But I don't know, some of those guys are insane. They go down some stuff on some videos. On uh, track coaching cars, you can do like mountain biking. And he said he had to stop after he got some of the concussions. Which explained a lot. <laughs> was he... His personality. What? You can always tell him, are you a little goofy? Yeah. Like, yeah, I've had like a ton of concussions over here. Yeah, that's not out. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, we went our own separate ways. I had no idea who this guy was, and I'll probably never see him again. I think it's important to value the interactions we have with strangers. They always offer you a new perspective you've never heard before, and they're a constant reminder of how big the world really is. Wherever this guy is, I hope he's having fun on new adventures.
Finally, I made it to the lodge. Two hikers from Quebec kindly offered me some extra water. I'd need it, as the hard part was just about to begin. Do not pee? Please do not pee in this toilet. So wait, I'm only allowed to poop, but I can't pee. What kind of horrible world is this? Where only poop allowed, but no pee. What kind of, what kind of twisted game is this, huh? Oh, great. Now I have to play limbo. How low can I go? Oh, wow. Crazy. All right, we can see it up there. We're almost there. Almost to the top. Oh, that is beautiful sound. Long trail south. We literally have 0 0.3 miles left. Feels like a lot more. We're going home. Wait, we're not going home, we're going up. These hiking sticks suck. Oh my God. These are brand new too. And they're just always falling apart. Oh my God, what is this? What is this? Why would you design it this way? Oh God, here we go, yep. What? What is this? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you, you gotta be fucking kidding me, oh. What is this class four nonsense on my peak? Am I going the wrong way? <sighs> Shit. I don't know how to do this. Okay, stay, stay. Oh my god. Fuck. Cannot lose that. What is this? Who in the right mind would put this here? <laughs> oh god. Hello Vermont. What is this mountain? Whose idea was this? Who am I talking to? Okay, you're one of those peaks, aren't you? Yeah. That's what you are. One of those peaks. Okay, I see how this is. All right, almost to the top. I'm climbing, you bitch. You're right? That's why I just called you, huh? Come on. Come on. Hello, sir. Oh, I just, I just ate a bug. <laughs> yeah. This is way steeper than I thought it'd be. You can skip that uh, mid-morning snack then. Yeah. Does it get steeper or is it just in my... Yes, it's steep. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering how 
I, I, I swear I felt like more like rock climbing than a hike, you know? Yeah. yeah. How'd you do it? Keep going. One step at a time. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How did I just do that? I did it! Yes! Everything was so quiet. The only sound was the handful of hikers and the wind. Finally, I was at peace. <laughs>